the House of Commons was disrupted as backbencher Peter Bone was heckled by a phone as his bill on incapacitated prime ministers was going through its second reading. Peter Bone began his nearly 20-minute reading of his private member's bill in the House of Commons which looked at the provisions made if Boris Johnson or other future prime ministers were incapacitated from their duties. But as Mr. Bone went on his lengthy reading, a phone responded to his voice which stunned the MP and confused Deputy Speaker Eleanor Lang who wondered why he had stopped. Mr. Bone joked that the Chinese got in again, before Ms. Lang firmly reminded MPs to switch off their phones during the session. Speaking in the House of Commons, Mr. Bone laid out the details of his bill which include giving the role of Prime Minister, including their salary, to a nominated Secretary of State who would take over if the PM was unable to do the job. But as Mr. Bone clarified that his bill did not prevent the Queen from appointing a Prime Minister he was interrupted by someone's phone which could be heard saying one moment. Mr. Bone joked, did I hear the Chinese had gotten in again? The Commons laughed at the outburst with Ms. Lang telling Mr. Bone if a heckle was heard then could it be repeated or ignored. Mr. Bone said, I think it was an electronic device and I can't give way to an electronic device. Dot. In his proposed bill, Mr. Bone is calling for the office of Prime Minister and First Lord of the Treasury shall, in the event of the temporary or permanent incapacitation of the person holding such office, be conferred upon another Secretary or Minister of State. The bill is titled, Make provision for the carrying out of the functions of the Prime Minister in the event that a Prime Minister or a person temporarily carrying out the functions of the Prime Minister is incapacitated, and for connected purposes. The bill will be presented again on January 21. Mr. Bone made reference to the news that MI5 warned a Chinese agent has been operating in Parliament to subvert the process in a letter to MPs. Speaker Sir Lindsay Hoyle told MPs that a woman called Christine Lee has been engaged in political interference activities on behalf of the Chinese Communist Party, engaging with members here at Parliament.